The meter, or meter is the fundamental unit of length in the international system of units. Originally intended to be one ten millionth of the distance from the Earth's equator to the North Pole, its definition has been periodically refined to reflect growing knowledge of metrology. Since 1983, it has been defined as the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of January 299, 792,458 of a second. The U.S. yard is defined so as to be exactly 0.9144 meters. History A decimal-based unit of length, the universal measure or standard was proposed in an essay of 1668 by the English cleric and philosopher John Wilkins. In 1670 Gabriel Mouton, Bishop of Lyon, also suggested a universal length standard with decimal multiples and divisions, to be based on a one-minute angle of the Earth's meridian arc or on a pendulum with a one-second period. In 1675, the Italian scientist Tito Livio Buratini, in his work Misera and Ivasal, used the phrase metro cat helico, derived from the Greek I one quarter I I I one half I I plus or minus I I I, I to the first I I I one half, to denote the standard unit of length derived from a pendulum. In the wake of the French Revolution, a commission organized by the French Academy of Sciences and charged with determining a single scale for all measures, advised the adoption of a decimal system and suggested a basic unit of length equal to one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator, to be called Marta. The National Convention adopted the proposal in 1793. The first occurrence of meter in this sense in English dates to 1797. Meridional definition, in 1668, Wilkins proposed using Christopher Wren's suggestion of a pendulum with a half period of one second to measure a standard length that Christian Huygens had observed to be 38 Ridgeland inches or 39 a 1 or 4 English inches in length. In the 18th century, there were two favored approaches to the definition of the standard unit of length. One approach followed Wilkins in defining the meter as the length of a pendulum with a half period of one second, a second's pendulum. The other approach suggested defining the meter as one ten millionth of the length of the Earth's meridian along a quadrant. That is, the distance from the equator to the North Pole. In 1791, the French Academy of Sciences selected the meridional definition over the pendular definition because the force of gravity varies slightly over the surface of the Earth which affects the period of a pendulum. To establish a universally accepted foundation for the definition of the meter, more accurate measurements of this meridian would have to be made. The French Academy of Sciences commissioned an expedition led by Jean-Baptiste Joseph Delambre and Pierre Marc Copyright Chain, lasting from 1792 to 1799, which measured the distance between a belfry in Dunkirk and Montour Sea Castle in Barcelona to estimate the length of the meridian arc through Dunkirk. This portion of the meridian, assumed to be the same length as the Paris meridian, was to serve as the basis for the length of the half meridian connecting the North Pole with the equator. The exact shape of the Earth is not a simple mathematical shape at the level of precision required for defining a standard of length. The irregular and particular shape of the Earth is called a goad, which means Earth-shaped. Despite this fact, and based on provisional results from the expedition, France adopted the meter as its official unit of length in 1793. Although it was later determined that the first prototype meter bar was short by a fifth of a millimeter because of miscalculation of the flattening of the Earth, this length became the standard. The circumference of the Earth through the poles is therefore slightly more than 40 million meters. Prototype meter bar, in the 1870s and in light of modern precision, a series of international conferences was held to devise new metric standards. The Meter Convention of 1875 mandated the establishment of a permanent International Bureau of Weights and Measures to be located in Zavres, France. This new organization would preserve the new prototype meter and kilogram standards when constructed, distribute national metric prototypes, and maintain comparisons between them and non-metric measurement standards. The organization created a new prototype bar in 1889 at the first General Conference on Weights and Measures, establishing the international prototype meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar composed of an alloy of 90% platinum and 10% iridium, 
measured at the melting point of ice. The original international prototype of the meter is still kept at the BIPM under the conditions specified in 1889. A discussion of measurements of a standard meter bar and the errors encountered in making the measurements is found in an NIST document. Standard wavelength of Krypton 86 emission, in 1893, the standard meter was first measured with an interferometer by Albert A. Michelson, the inventor of the device and an advocate of using some particular wavelength of light as a standard of length. By 1925, interferometry was in regular use at the BIPM. However, the international prototype meter remained the standard until 1960, when the 11th CGPM defined the meter in the new international system of units as equal to 1,650,763.73 wavelengths of the orange-red emission line in the electromagnetic spectrum of the Krypton-86 atom in a vacuum. Speed of light, to further reduce uncertainty. The 17th CGPM in 1983 replaced the definition of the meter with its current definition, thus fixing the length of the meter in terms of the second and the speed of light. The meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of January 299, 792,458 of a second. This definition fixed the speed of light in vacuum at exactly 299,792,458 meters per second. An intended byproduct of the 17th CGPM's definition was that it enabled scientists to compare their lasers accurately using frequency, resulting in wavelengths with one-fifth the uncertainty involved in the direct comparison of wavelengths, because interferometer errors were eliminated. To further facilitate reproducibility from lab to lab, the 17th CGPM also made the iodine stabilized helium a uroneon laser a recommended radiation for realizing the meter. For the purpose of delineating the meter, the BIPM currently considers the HINI laser wavelength, a HINI, to be 632.9912125 nm with an estimated relative standard uncertainty of 2.1A, 10.11. This uncertainty is currently one limiting factor in laboratory realizations of the meter, and it is several orders of magnitude poorer than that of the second, based upon the cesium fountain atomic clock. Consequently, a realization of the meter is usually delineated today in labs as 1,579,800.762042,33, wavelengths of helium neon laser light in a vacuum the error stated being only that of frequency determination. This bracket notation expressing the error is explained in the article on measurement uncertainty. Practical realization of the meter is subject to uncertainties in characterizing the medium, to various uncertainties of interferometry, and to uncertainties in measuring the frequency of the source. A commonly used medium is air and the National Institute of Standards and Technology has set up an online calculator to convert wavelengths in vacuum to wavelengths in air. As described by NIST, in air, the uncertainties in characterizing the medium are dominated by errors in measuring temperature and pressure. Errors in the theoretical formulas used are secondary. By implementing a refractive index correction such as this, an approximate realization of the meter can be implemented in air, for example, using the formulation of the meter as 1,579,800.762042,33, wavelengths of helium neon laser light in vacuum, and converting the wavelengths in a vacuum to wavelengths in air. Of course, air is only one possible medium to use in a realization of the meter, and any partial vacuum can be used, or some inert atmosphere like helium gas provided the appropriate corrections for refractive index are implemented. Length measurement in meters. Although the meter is now defined as the path length traveled by light in a given time, the practical laboratory length measurements in meters are determined by counting the number of wavelengths of laser light of one of the standard types that fit into the length, and converting the selected unit of wavelength to meters. Three major factors limit the accuracy attainable with laser interferometers for a length measurement, uncertainty in vacuum wavelength of the source, uncertainty in the refractive index of the medium, least count resolution of the interferometer, of these, the last is peculiar to the interferometer itself. 
The conversion of a length in wavelengths to a length in meters is based upon the relation which converts the unit of wavelength I to meters using C, the speed of light in a vacuum in MS. Here N is the refractive index of the medium in which the measurement is made, and F is the measured frequency of the source. Although conversion from wavelengths to meters introduces an additional error in the overall length due to measurement error in determining the refractive index in the frequency, the measurement of frequency is one of the most accurate measurements available. Timeline of definition May 8, 1790 AA Euro The French National Assembly decides that the length of the new meter would be equal to the length of a pendulum with a half period of one second. March 30, 1791 AA Euro The French National Assembly accepts the proposal by the French Academy of Sciences that the new definition for the meter be equal to one ten millionth of the length of the Earth's meridian along the quadrant through Paris, that is the distance from the equator to the North Pole. 1795 AA Euro Provisional meter bar constructed of brass. Based on Bessel's ellipsoid and legally equal to 443.44 lines on the ties du par copyright row. December 10, 1799 AA Euro The French National Assembly specifies the platinum meter bar, constructed on June 23, 1799 and deposited in the National Archives, as the final standard. Legally equal to 443.296 lines on the ties du par copyright row. September 28, 1889 AA Euro The first general conference on weights and measures defines the meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar of an alloy of platinum with 10% iridium, measured at the melting point of ice. October 6, 1927 AA Euro The seventh CGPM redefines the meter as the distance, at 0 AA degree Celsius, between the axes of the two central lines marked on the prototype bar of platinum iridium, this bar being subject to one standard atmosphere of pressure and supported on two cylinders of at least one cm diameter, symmetrically placed in the same horizontal plane at a distance of 571 mm from each other. October 14, 1960 AA Euro The 11th CGPM defines the meter as 1,650,763.73 wavelengths in a vacuum of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the 2P10 and 5D5 quantum levels of the Krypton 86 atom. October 21, 1983 AA Euro The 17th CGPM defines the meter as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during a time interval of January 299, 792,458 of a second. 2002 AA Euro The International Committee for Weights and Measures considers the meter to be a unit of proper length and thus recommends this definition be restricted to lengths a which is sufficiently short for the effects predicted by general relativity to be negligible with respect to the uncertainties of realization. SI prefixed forms of meter, SI prefixes are often employed to denote decimal multiples and submultiples of the meter, as shown in the table below. As indicated in the table, some are commonly used, while others are not. Long distances are usually expressed in km, astronomical units, light years, or pasks rather than in M, GM, TM, PM, M, ZM or M. 30 cm, 30 M, and 300 M are more common than 3 dm, 3 dam, and 3 HM, respectively. The term micron is often used instead of micrometer, but this practice is officially discouraged. Spelling, meter is used as the standard spelling of the metric unit for length in all English-speaking nations except the USA which uses meter. The most recent official brochure, written in 2006, about the international system of units, Bureau International des Poids et Measures, was written in French by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. An English translation is included to make the SI standard more widely accessible. In 2008, the U.S. English translation published by the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology chose to use meter in accordance with the United States Government Printing Office style manual. Measuring devices are spelt meter in all countries. The word meter, signifying any such device, has the same derivation as the word meter, denoting the unit of length. Equivalence in other units, within this table, inch, and yard mean international inch, 
and International Yard, respectively, though approximate conversions in the left-hand column hold for both international and survey units. A per mil means is approximately equal to a per mil means equal by definition, or is exactly equal to 1 meter is exactly equivalent to 10,000 slash 254 inches and to 10,000 slash 9,144 yards. A simple mnemonic aid exists to assist with conversion, as 33, 1 meter is nearly equivalent to 3 f 80 euro 3 a 3 a 8 inches. This gives an overestimate of 0 0.125 um. The ancient Egyptian cubit was about 1 or 2 am Scottish and English definitions of L were 0 0.941 am and 1.143 am, respectively. The ancient Paris ties was slightly shorter than 2 am, and was standardized at exactly 2 am in the Meshaw's usual system, such that 1 am was exactly 1 or 2 ties. The Russian vista was 1.0668 km. The Swedish mill was 10.688 km, but was changed to 10 km when Sweden converted to metric units. See also, conversion of units for comparisons with other units, international system of units, introduction to the metric system, ISO 1 AA Euro standard reference temperature for length measurements, length measurement, meter convention, metric system, metric prefix, metrication, orders of magnitude, SI prefix, speed of light, notes. References, 17th General Conference on Weights and Measures Resolution 1. International Bureau of Weights and Measures. Aston, A.V. and Caro, H. Arnold Refinement of Values for the Yard and the Pound, Washington, D.C., National Bureau of Standards, republished on National Geodetic Survey website and the Federal Register, Barbrow, Louis E. and Judson, Lewis v. Weights and Measures Standards of the United States, A Brief History National Institute of Standards and Technology. Beers, J.S. and Penzies, WBNIST Length Scale Interferometer Measurement Assurance National Institute of Standards and Technology. The International System of Units. Bureau International des Poids A Meshores 2006. Retrieved August 18, 2008 a, HTML version. Retrieved August 24, 2008. Bureau International des Poids A Meshores Resolutions of the CGPM. Retrieved June 3, 2006. Bureau International des Poids A Meshores the BIPM and the evolution of the definition of the meter. Retrieved June 3, 2006. Card Errily, Francois. Encyclopedia of Scientific Units, Weights, and Measures, Their SI Equivalences and Origins, Spring of Erlag London Limited, ISBN 1 85233 682x, Page 5, Table 2.1, Data from Giacomo, P. Du Platina La Lumiere, Bull. Burr. Nat. Metrology, 1025 a Euro 14. Humerfault, Sigurd How WGS 84 defines Earth. Retrieved April 29, 2011. Lair, HP length for Euro evolution from measurement standard to a fundamental constant. Gaithersburg, Maryland, National Institute of Standards and Technology. Retrieved August 18, 2008. Moo, P. Taylor, BN and David B. Newell, DCODATA Recommended Values of the Fundamental Physical Constants, 2006. Gaithersburg, Maryland, National Institute of Standards and Technology. Retrieved August 18, 2008. National Institute of Standards and Technology The NIST Reference on Constants, Units, and Uncertainty, International System of Units, SI Base Units. Retrieved August 18, 2008. Definitions of the SI base units. Retrieved August 18, 2008. Historical context of the SI, meter. Retrieved May 26, 2010. National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST F1 Cesium Fountain Atomic Clock. Author. National Physical Laboratory Iodine Stabilized Lasers. Author. National Research Council Canada Maintaining the SI Unit of Length. Retrieved December 4, 2010. Norton, 
Pat Spelling Meter or Meter. Author. Penzies, W. Timeline for the Definition of the Meter. Gaithersburg, Maryland, National Institute of Standards and Technology Euro Precision Engineering Division. Retrieved December 4, 2010. Taylor, B. N. and Thompson, A. The International System of Units. United States version of the English text of the 8th edition of the International Bureau of Weights and Measures Publication Le Systeme International da Euro Unregistered Trademark Unita Copyright S. Gaithersburg, Maryland, National Institute of Standards and Technology. Retrieved August 18, 2008. Taylor, B. N. and Thompson, A Guide for the Use of the International System of Units. Gaithersburg, Maryland. National Institute of Standards and Technology. Retrieved August 23, 2008. Thibaut Call. The History of the Meter. Retrieved August 18, 2008. Turner, J. Interpretation of the International System of Units for the United States. Federal Register Vol. 73, No. 96, PA 28432-3. Wilkins. J. An essay towards a real character, and a philosophical language. Also available without images of original. Metrication matters. Zagar, B. G. Laser Interferometer Displacement Sensors and J. G. Webster. The Measurement, Instrumentation, and Sensors Handbook. CRC Press. ISBN equals 0 8493 Further reading, Older. Ken the measure of all things at the seven-year odyssey and hidden era that transformed the world. Free Press, New York ISBN 0-7432-1675-X.